what's up you guys it's simon welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually super super exciting because it is my very first sponsored video and i am so glad to say that today's video is sponsored by artistry before we get into things, I just want to address that while Artistry did pay me to try out the site, these opinions are fully my own and they even outright asked me to flame them at one point during the review when I was experiencing trouble with one of their features, but we'll get to that later. First, we should talk about what exactly Artistry is. So Artistry is a website dedicated to making the commission process safer for both clients and artists with incredible customer service and solid security throughout. As an artist, you guys have heard me complain on my channel about clients who tried not to pay me, or clients who had asked for so many revisions that it had my head spinning, and when all was said and done, I provided them with triple the amount of work for about a third of the cost, which is not something that can happen with artistry. Artists on the site are paid fully upfront, and once you send the client the final piece for approval, if they approve that work, then there's no way to go back and make revisions. That's the final piece, and you won't be forced to work for more than what you've been paid for. That being said, if you're a client, don't worry. If you're not happy with the piece, you don't have to approve the final. You can send it back for revision and communicate with your artist to find what they're comfortable changing so you're not stuck with a piece you didn't pay for or don't like just because the artist sent the final submission. On the flip side, as a client, I'm sure many of you have paid for a commission and never received any work or waited months for a commission and are continuously told it's being worked on without ever seeing any form of an update. Artistry has your back too. With their whip system, Artistry can see whether or not you're being provided with updates and if need be, they'll get you back your money's worth. On top of that, there's no site or transaction fees for artists. If you charge $100 for your commission, you get $100 and you get that $100 up front. Clients do have to pay a small fee, but that fee goes to running the site and the best part, to donations used to plant trees, which I personally think is very awesome. So a commission website that guarantees you, whether artist or client, will not be taken advantage of and it's good for the environment. Sounds like the site of our dreams, but does it work like a dream? I personally think yes. <laughs> yes, it does. So first I'm going to talk about my first impressions of the site, and then I'm going to talk more about what it was like to actually be a user on this platform. So some of my first impressions are that the site is absolutely adorable and I am in love with the loading screen graphic. Just getting to watch his little wings go makes me so happy. I'm not sure if I was able to capture footage for it um, in this video, but if you see the loading screen graphic, it'll be like, it'll load in wing by wing and it's just so cute. I think it's so adorable. Um, and again, it does, it makes me really happy. Um, I also really love the organization of the dashboard layout. It's really clear to read and understand what's going on with it, but I'll touch more on that when I get into user experience. Another thing I think is really cute is the landing page quotes. So when you log in or switch to your dashboard, it has cute little splash art with inspirational quotes or just general things to help keep you productive. For example, one day I switched onto my dashboard and it said maybe the real art is the friends we made along the way, and because I'd seen this in a time period where I was really struggling with my art and a ton of other things that I had going on, it really helped encourage me, especially on a Monday. <laughs> um, another day I logged in and it said, have you been drinking enough water? And you know what? I hadn't. I haven't today. Chances are, neither have you. So here is a reminder from both me and Artistry, go drink some water. <laughs> now that we've got our first impressions out of the way, let's talk a bit about what it was like to actually use the site. So the first thing I noticed about Artistry is that the site is incredibly easy to use. After you make your account, setting up your commission sheet is a breeze. As an artist, one of the most annoying things to me is having to curate a commission sheet that accurately illustrates your art style, having to organize everything and make sure it looks neat and nice and clear and legible. And maybe that's just me, but it is so much of a hassle for me that I flew through seven entire months of 2022 without a proper commission sheet. I just could not be bothered. But with Artistry, I had it set up in literal minutes. It is so easy to just type in your commission type, for example, icons, list your price, and describe what a client can expect with that commission type. The best part about that too is that the prices are explicitly stated as an estimate, so you're not stuck having to tell clients with extremely intricate face tattoos and head accessories and backgrounds that their $30 icon is actually going to be more like $40 or $45 because of the level of detail, and then have them argue, well it says 
30 it says estimated price so you can tell them that 30 might be 30 for some but it might be 40 for others and might even be 60 for others something important that a lot of artists forget to include in their commission prices is the amount of time it takes for them to create it not just their materials if a commission tier that normally takes you an hour might take three hours for another client it's important that your commission sheet and your pricing reflects that so having it say estimated price really helps for client and artist communication to take place which I very much appreciate. Another reason I love Artistry's commission sheets is because you can share them as a link, which means you can add them to things like your card or your link tree in order to drive more traffic towards your commissions. I personally have commissions open 24-7 with all of the green emojis everywhere listed on all of my bios, on all of my socials, and I still get people asking me things like, are your commissions open? How many slots do you have? Which of course I don't mind answering, but it just means that having those in my bio isn't enough to let people know that I'm offering commissions. So having a big button at the top of my Linktree page that says commission inquiries will definitely bring traffic to my commissions. In fact, it already had. Within the first days of using Artistry, I had someone reach out to me through the site, meaning somebody had to click that link on my link tree because at the time that was the only place you could find my artistry page, which means within the first week it was already bringing me clients without me having to hunt for them myself, which can be another exhausting part of getting commission work. Of course you're still going to have to do that, but hey, at least while you're hunting it'll be easier to link them to your prices. It also lets clients viewing your commission sheet know how many slots you have available and what the waiting list looks like. Your commission sheet also lets you attach examples, which is really nice, although it only lets you add three images of each. I do wish you could add more, but at the same time, I think limiting to three is nice because having too many could make it potentially overwhelming for clients. You can also go back to this at any time, so don't worry if in a month's time you've changed your art style drastically and you feel like your examples no longer reflect your work. All you have to do is jump back in and edit them and you're all good to go. So hey, you've got your commission sheet set up and now people are starting to reach out to you. So what is it like to actually go through the commission process? This is where that dashboard I mentioned comes in. The dashboard is so comfortable to use. I personally have done commissions through a few places, namely Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. All of these platforms can be kind of overwhelming because you have clients in your messages, but you might also have people like friends and family that you're talking to on there as well. And I accidentally sent this terrifying picture of a Bill Cipher plush that I made to a client instead of its intended recipient. Look at him. He's terrifying. That was mortifying, incredibly embarrassing, and luckily something that is not going to be able to happen with artistry. Um, once a client contacts you, it drops into something called your commission request box. Here it lets you read the client's request, message them for clarity on things, and overall decide whether or not you'd like to take on the commission. Once you confirm the commission, it sends over to the next section of your dashboard, awaiting payment. Here is where you'll find a pop-up that lets you input your price, as well as a little note if necessary. Necessary. I always just like to thank people for commissioning me because I'm really grateful to receive them when I do and I want people to know that. But you can also add things like your terms of here, terms of here, <laughs> terms of service here, um, if that's something that you have. Then the client has the option to pay and here's where I will say at current there's no way to tip artists above their listed price once you as the client receives it. So if that's something you like to do, don't worry as Artistry does have plans to implement that feature here very soon. I also want to take a second here to mention that Artistry now has PayPal support. Previously, they were using Stripe, which is still an option on the site if you don't have PayPal. Um, I personally had to use Stripe at the beginning of sign up, and I find it's very similar to PayPal. It's all the same kind of information and things like that. But if you do prefer to use PayPal because you already have one, then PayPal is now an option, um, which I think is really, really great. Now, after everything is negotiated and paid for, it will sit in your in-progress section. Every client you're working with will have their name listed with part or all of their initial message available depending on the length, so you can clearly see who you're working with and which project you're working on. No more getting lost in messages between friends and clients and wondering who needed what. It's all there for you. During my testing phase, I had about five clients at once and I never had trouble when it came to organization. I didn't have to sort through a list of 12 different people, some who hadn't paid, some 
some who weren't clients at all, some who had paid, some whose work was finished, and some who I was still trying to figure out what exactly it was that they wanted in the first place, all the while listed in one straight line for me to pick through. Artistry organizes everything neatly laid out according to which stage in the process you're in, so overall it made my commission process much smoother and I'm very grateful for that. So leaving the dashboard, what's it like to communicate with clients through the sites? I personally think it's great. When the client sends their initial request, they're able to attach images with references, as well as write to you about what it is that they're looking for. As I mentioned before, if you need clarity, you can message them before you even have to accept their request and really communicate about what they need before moving forward. Once you've approved them and they've paid, you move to the progress stage and from there you can do things like send whips, review their submission quest to look at references, and of course submit the final when the time comes. Their messaging feature itself is awesome, but I do have a few nitpicks here. One is that I really wish there was some form of notification when a client responds to your message on the site. I think they do send an email, but I'm not sure if they send it every time or if it's just for the initial message. There's also not an audio alert if you already have the site open in your browser or if you have the site downloaded as an extension. Since there's no app yet and therefore no push notifications, having an audio alert or a more frequent email alert would be helpful for messaging. And when this is where the flaming them part comes in, uh, when first using them, message or images, sorry, <laughs> images were loading slowly, and that's because rightfully so they were prioritizing imaging quality at first, which as an artist is super helpful to have a very cli clisp, crisp, clear, crisp, clear reference. <laughs> um, but at the same time, if I'm just rushing back to my references to see if someone's eyes are blue or green and it takes upwards of 10 minutes to load, then that really slows down my commission process. On top of that, for a short period, we weren't actually able to send images through the messaging feature either. I would attach a file and it would select and then just disappear. So I emailed them and let them know, and this is where I want to talk about how incredible their customer service is. I let them know I was having loading issues and that a few of my clients were as well, on top of the message image issues. They let me know right away that they would fix the message imaging glitch and in addition to that, let me know why the load times were so long and then went so far as to ask me what I would like to see as a user. The team behind Artistry genuinely cares so much about user experience. I let them know that while I wasn't exactly sure how I would implement it, since I'm no coder myself, that as an artist I do love having a clear reference, but at the same time, not having a way to quickly go back and check them can really cut into my time. And they let me know that they'd soon be adjusting the site to have compressed images with the option to download a higher resolution file so that they can speed up loading times while also having the option to have those high render references, which I think is a amazing like seriously when they asked me what i felt i was like shocked i was like wait you guys like seriously care about what little me thinks like th that's crazy to me <laughs> they also specifically asked me to flame them about it which i thought was really funny but just another testament to them really caring about their users experience and how honest this review genuinely is I also did mention that they responded quickly, but when I say quickly, I mean in minutes. They are so fast to respond. <laughs> if you're a user that's having issues with the site, whether that's an artist not delivering, a technical issue, or something else altogether, I have faith that if you contact their customer service, they're going to get back to you and help you as soon as they possibly can. No waiting weeks or months desperately trying to find some way to contact them to no avail like you have to do with certain websites. <laughs> Another thing I notice is that when you're sending whips, I don't believe that currently there's anywhere to attach a message to your whip. You can only submit the file and then message them separately to let them know any notes you might have, which hey, again, is a little nitpicky, but I always end up having to say something about a whip after I send it to a client. Little things like, hey, I know you requested this and this for the background, but I'll end up including that at the end because I think line work would be too harsh, or this looks a little wonky, I promise I know, but it's going to be less crooked in the line art. They don't call it a rough sketch for nothing. You know, just little things to reassure both the client and honestly myself because sending someone your rough work can be very nerve-wracking, so having to send the whip itself and then go back and message the, message the client can be a bit time-consuming as opposed to having it all in one place, but at the end of the day, it's not the worst thing to have to do. So you sent your client all your whips, they've approved them, and you send the final. What happens then? 
Well, your client is able to approve or deny that file, and if they approve it, you don't have to worry about having to email them the high-resolution file. I'm a Procreate artist personally, and I work on a pretty big canvas at a high DPI. For example, my icon commissions are 5,000 by 5,000 pixels at 300 DPI, so that final image is clear as can be. If I download that as a PNG and attach that file to the final folder, then what the client gets is a zip file that's the full quality. It is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels, which means there is no compression happening there, which I sincerely appreciate because it means that I don't have to take any extra steps and maybe forget to hit send on that email. It doesn't happen often, but I have definitely had clients kindly let me know I never sent them the final email with the high res file because my silly self forgot to hit the final send off, or I thought I sent it but pressed slightly to the side of the button and it sent itself into drafts. So yeah, being able to send the full quality to my client directly through the site they contacted me on is awesome and very much appreciated. So overall, I would seriously recommend giving Artistry a try. It is so neatly streamlined and organized and their customer service is amazing, their site layout is cute, and sometimes very encouraging. And on top of that, just having your Artistry request form linked in your bio or your preferred link sharing site can help drive traffic to you as an artist. And I think that's awesome personally, but what I think is more awesome is the trees! They help plant trees! Hello! That is very cool of them, and I really like that. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you already use Artistry? Would you try it? Are there things I didn't mention in this video that maybe you'd want to see implemented as an artist or a client? Let me know below. I love you guys so, so much, and thank you again for Artistry sponsoring this video. I loved working with you guys. I love this site. I cannot wait to use this for my commissions more often. Um, and yeah, anyways, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!